Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be checking out a weapon that was originally introduced with the Wastelanders update. That's right, we're going to be checking out the Gauss Shotgun. So without any further ado, let's dive right on in. Now, before we check out the mods and the build that we're going to be running with today's showcase, let's quickly show you where you can pick one up for yourself. If you want to pick up your own Goss shotgun, all you need to do is to head over to Foundation, the home of the Settlers faction, and purchase the plan from Samuel the Merchant once you've reached the rank of ally reputation with the Settlers. The plan for the shotgun can cost roughly 500 gold bullion, and alongside the plan for the shotgun, you can also find all of the mods and the attachments in his inventory. Once you have the plan and the mods you want for the weapon, you can then head to any weapons workbench and craft it. However, in order to craft it, you will need two legendary modules, along with an assortment of materials. And if you're new to the game, you can purchase legendary modules from the purveyor over at the Rusty Pick. Once you craft it, it will automatically produce either a 1-star, 2-star, or 3-star legendary variant of the weapon. However, if you're not happy with the rolls, you can always purchase more modules, and have a chance of rolling one with your preferred legendary effects. And with that, let's head over and check out the mods. The mods we're going to be using with today's showcase will be the Prime Receiver for superior damage and increased damage against Scorched and also Scorched Beasts, the Extended Barrel for better hipfire accuracy and superior range, the Align Stock for improved recoil and hipfire accuracy, the Perforating Magazine for superior armor penetration, and lastly, the Short Scope for better magnification and sighted accuracy. And the rolls we have with the Goss Shotgun is the Anti-Armor Effect, with Vat's Critical Hits dealing plus 50% extra damage. Now for the perk cards and the build. Because we're running with a Goss shotgun, the build itself will be of course a shotgun build, and to be specific, a low health shotgun build. However, if you prefer to run with high health, you can do that instead, it's entirely up to you. But if you'd like to pause the video here so you can get an overview of the build, you can go ahead and do so. But the main cards we're going to be focusing on will be max rank of all of the shotgun or perk cards, so your shotguns gain an extra 60% damage increase. Max rank of skeet shooter, so your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread, and one rank of concentrated fire so your vats now target limbs. We also have max rank of suppressors that your target's damage output is reduced by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack, and max rank of tenderizer so your target receives 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Because we're a low health build, we have max rank of nerd rage so that while below 20% health, you'll gain 40 damage resistance, 20% increased damage, and 15% extra AP regen. And a card that is seriously going to boost the damage of the Goss shotgun is max rank of demolition expert, because if you're unaware the Goss Shotgun, along with every other Goss weapon in the game, actually has an inbuilt explosive effect when you fire any of the bullets in the chamber, so definitely make sure to invest in this as it will boost your damage by plus 60%. We also have max rank of Enforcer, so that your shotguns gain a plus 15% stagger chance, and also a 30% chance to cripple a limb, and one rank of Gunfu, so that your VAT swap targets on kill with a plus 10% damage to your next target. And lastly, to help with that critical damage, we've popped on max rank of Better Criticals, so that VAT's criticals now do plus 100% extra damage. The rest of the build is made up of damage resistant perks and also damage output perks, so if you'd like to pause the video again so you can get a complete overview of the build, you can go ahead and do so. And I encourage you to use whichever cards you're most comfortable with, but again, if you'd like to follow the build down to a T, that's entirely up to you. The legendary perks we're also going to be running will be max rank of legendary luck, strength, agility, intelligence, and charisma, and max rank of follow through for that first few seconds of sneak attack damage. And once you have all of your legendary perks in place, this is how your special stats will look like, so if you'd like to pause the video here, you can go ahead and do so. And lastly, the armor we're going to be running with today's build is a full set of unyielding secret service armor, and for a full list of legendary effects on each piece, I'll leave that in a pinned comment below along with a list of mutations for the build. Now that we've covered your special stats, perk cards, and also the mods for the gun, let's go and test this weapon out and all the enemies that Appalachia has to offer.
And before we wrap things up for today, I want to give a special mention to an incredible charity initiative we're supporting during the month of May. This month, we're going to be working in association with Fall Out for Hope in support of Wes Johnson's Alzheimer's Association charity campaign. The Alzheimer's Association leads the way to end Alzheimer's and all other dementia by accelerating global research, driving risk reduction and early detection, and also maximizing quality care and support. During this month, myself and many others will be actively campaigning and raising funds for this incredible charity. And we're calling on others who would like to take part and help raise funds by heading over and signing up at falloutforhope.com forward slash join. Whether you stream, create content in other ways, your support will go a very long way. So if you'd like to take part, I'll leave a link in a pinned comment below. If you'd also like to donate and help our efforts, you can head over to my Tiltify donation link and donate as much as you'd like to. And again, a link will be made available below. My own personal goal and one I'd love to reach during our efforts is $1,000. But whatever we can reach, as a community will be greatly appreciated and will go a very long way in helping the lives of others. And there you have it, the Goss Shotgun. Let me know below in the comments what you thought about the Goss Shotgun, and hopefully today's video helped you utilize it a little bit better in the wasteland. And if you enjoyed today's video and want to be kept up to date with everything Fallout related, consider clicking that subscribe button and turning on that bell notification button. And if you enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like. And before we head on out, I want to say a big thank you to our channel members for your continued support and dedication to the channel and of course to all of our subscribers who've helped the channel to grow. If you're also looking at picking up some Bethesda theme items over on the Bethesda store, you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE052 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more personally, consider checking out my merch store which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, prints, and other pineapple themed merch which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93 and I'll catch you all in the next video.